Hi there everybody and welcome to lesson number two. Now many of you may not be aware but we benefit daily from the work done by electrical currents in many different types of electrical circuits, namely operating major industrial plants to simple household appliances like stoves, fridges and even light bulbs. In today's lesson we will learn how to measure the work done by an electric current. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to use the equation V equals W over Q and to calculate the values for V, W and Q. We already know that an electrical circuit is a complete loop of electrical components connected to a source of electrical energy. Now when a potential difference is applied across two ends on a conductor, then a current is able to flow through that conductor. Resistors in the circuit, like these two light bulbs, make use of the energy carried by the current. The light bulbs offer resistance to the flow of charge. Therefore, work is done in the bulbs as the current passes through it. The work that is done is the amount of electrical energy transferred into heat and light in each of the bulbs. Let's remind ourselves what potential difference is before we continue. The potential difference between two points in a circuit is the amount of energy transferred per unit charge, expressed by the equation V equals W over Q, where W is equal to the amount of energy transferred, measured in joules, Q is the amount of charge that passes through, measured in coulombs, and V is the potential difference, which is measured in volts V. Let's now do a few calculations using the formula V equals W over Q. Try and do them with me and make sure you understand the steps that I take. 45 joules of energy are transferred to a light bulb when 6 coulombs of charge passes through it. What is the potential difference across this light bulb? Well firstly, we write down the values that we are given. First of all, 45 joules of energy are transferred. So work done W is equal to 45 joules. To a light bulb when 6 coulombs of charge, Q charge is equal to 6 coulombs. What is the potential difference across the light bulb? V is what we're trying to calculate. Now that we've written the information down, we must now write down the formula V equals W over Q and substitute the values into the formula. Right, V is equal to W over Q. W equals 45 joules. Q is equal to 6 coulombs. And calculating that, we get an answer of 7,5 volts. Let's do another calculation, but this time for W, the amount of energy transferred. How much energy is transferred to the element of a kettle where 900 coulombs of charge passes through it. The potential difference across the kettle is 240 volts. Right, let's write down our values again. We are told that 900 coulombs of charge pass through the kettle, so Q is equal to 900 coulombs, and that the potential difference across the kettle is 240 volts, so V is equal to 240 volts. How much energy is transferred? we are looking to calculate work. Now what we must do is take our equation and make W, the work done, the subject of the formula. So we write down V equals W over Q. Making W the subject of the formula, W is equal to V times Q. Now we substitute in the values. V is equal to 240 volts multiplied by Q of 900 coulombs, 240 multiplied by 900 gives us an answer of 216,000 joules of work. This time, let's see how we can use the formula to calculate the amount of charge. How much charge passes through a light bulb when 120,000 joules of energy is transferred by a potential difference of 240 volts applied across it. Okay, writing down the information, 
we can see now that there's 120,000 joules of energy transferred. So W equals 120,000 joules. And a potential difference of 240 volts is applied. So V is equal to 240 volts. What we're trying to find out now is Q, the amount of charge. So this time, we're taking our formula V equals W over Q and making Q the subject of the formula. So writing down V equals W over Q, making Q the subject of the formula, Q is now equal to W divided by V. Substitute in our values, W is 120,000 joules, V is 240 volts, and we get an answer for Q of 500 coulombs. Now let's try a few more complicated examples. This time we will use the equation Q is equal to I times T as well as our equation V equals W over Q. A current of 5 amperes is maintained in a conductor for 4 minutes. It passes through an electric fan which has a potential difference of 12 volts applied across it. How much energy is transferred to this fan? Okay, looking at our example, let's write down the important information. We can see now that the current is 5 amperes, so I equals 5 amperes. It's maintained in the conductor for 4 minutes, so T is equal to 4 minutes, but remember we must convert to seconds, so we multiply it by 60 equals 240 seconds. We've got a potential difference of 12 volts, so V equals 12 volts. And the question is, how much energy is transferred to this fan? So W is what we're trying to look for. Now to calculate the amount of charge, which will allow us then to calculate the amount of energy transferred, we must use our equation Q is equal to I times T. So writing the equation Q is equal to I times T, Let's substitute in the values, I is equal to 5 amperes, multiply by T the time, which remember we've calculated as 240 seconds, 5 multiplied by 240 gives us an answer of 1200 coulombs. Now that we've calculated Q, the amount of charge, it's a simple process to now calculate the amount of energy transferred. So writing down V equals W over Q and making W the subject of the formula, W equals V times Q, substitute in the values, V is equal to 12 volts and Q we've just calculated as 1,200 coulombs. 12 multiplied by 1,200 gives us an answer of 14,400 joules. Now that last problem probably seemed quite difficult, but I hope you followed each step with me. And as we slowly put down each step of the question, I'm sure you will agree that it's actually not that hard. Now let's try one last question together. A current of 30 milliamperes transfers 1,200 joules of energy to an electric motor in three minutes. Find A, the potential difference, and B, the energy transferred per second. Okay, let's write down the information. A current of 30 milliamperes, so I, the current, equals 30 milliamperes. Now remember, the unit we have to use is the ampere, so we must convert milliamperes into amperes. To do that, we divide by 1000, which then gives us an answer of 0, 0,03 amperes. The work done or energy is 1,200 joules and they tell us that the time t is equal to 3 minutes converted to seconds again by multiplying by 60 gives us 180 seconds. Now this example is very similar to the one that we've just done. In other words it is a two-step problem. First of all, we must calculate Q, the amount of charge, and then secondly, 
use that to calculate V, the potential difference. So the first step is to calculate Q by using our formula Q is equal to I times T. Substitute in our values, I is equal to 0, 0,03 amperes, T time is 180 seconds, 0, 0,03 multiplied by 180 gives us an answer of 5,4 coulombs. Now, V equals W over Q. W was given as 1,200 joules. Q we've just calculated in the step above. It's 5,4 coulombs. 1,200 divided by 5,4 gives us an answer of 222 volts. Now, on part B of our question, they've asked us to calculate the energy transferred per second. Now, what exactly do they mean by that? Well, the quantity, energy transferred per second, is known as power. And the unit of power is the watt. Power is the rate at which energy is transferred. So we can write the equation, P for power, is equal to work done divided by time. Let's also define the unit of power. One joule of energy per second of time is one watt of power supplied. Okay, now we're going to calculate part B of our problem. I've written down the important information that we're going to need. The work done, or energy, is 1,200 joules, and the time taken is 180 seconds. Remember that we calculated this by taking the three minutes that the electric motor is running and multiplying by 60 to convert it to seconds. So, calculate the energy transferred per second. Remember, that is the power which is calculated by work done divided by time. Let's substitute in our values. Work done is 1,200 joules. The time taken is 180 seconds. 1,200 divided by 180 gives us an answer of 6,7 joules per second. So when we calculated the amount of energy transferred per second in part B of our question, we were actually calculating the amount of power supplied to the motor. So if the amount of power was 6,7 joules per second, we can now write the amount of power as 6,7 watts. Notice that the symbol for watts is capital W. Before we wrap up, let's summarize everything we have learned so far. Please try and write this all down. The potential difference between two points in a circuit is the amount of energy transferred per unit charge. Potential difference is also called voltage or PD. We calculate the amount of energy transferred per coulomb of charge passing through a component in the circuit by using the formula V equals W over Q. Thank you for joining me for this lesson. In our next lesson, we will be looking at circuit diagrams. Until then, Goodbye for now.